the 19 Corot diamond of the couple's house. If you look in the Samuel couple's house, in the room where Mrs. Couples used to entertain her guests, you'll find a painting worth upwards of $1 million painted by Jean-Baptiste Corot. This painting is just one of many untitled landscapes by Corot, but it represents the style of the famous painter, the new techniques of painting emerging in the 1900s, and the transition into Impressionism as a painting style. However, the painting in couples represents Corot's later works in a very different style than anything he painted prior to 1850. Corot began a much more classical painter, making his way into the respected Paris salon with this painting, The View from Narni, in 1827, followed by The Forest of Fontainebleau in 1834. Take notice that most of Corot's paintings depict the outdoors. An early instructor of his, Achille Etnam Miquelon, introduced him to the style of painting called en plein air, in which the artist paints his landscapes outside rather than in a studio. After learning the en plein air style, Corot found his way to Italy with a new mentor, Jean-Victor Bertin. This is where his work matured and he acquired the talent needed to get the previously mentioned view from Narni and Forest of Fontainebleau into salons. His new maturity also produced one of his most famous paintings, Hagar in the Wilderness, which strategically uses lines and paths to depict the point of a biblical story. However, the paintings mentioned thus far are not representative of Corot's style used in the paintings in the couple's house. The landscapes in couples represent the Impressionist style in which Corot was one of the front runners when he made the mysterious and dramatic change to this style after 1850. Impressionism is associated with names like Claude Monet, known for his work with water lilies painted over various times of day, and Edgar Degas, famous for his paintings of dancers. The style depicts the use of soft, airy strokes, which are less precise and detailed, but do well to present the theme of change, as the world is constantly moving. A good comparison for this style can be seen in some description of the outdoors in literature. For example, Charles Dickens paints a visual with words as Sissy and Rachel take a walk outside of Coketown describing Coketown as a black mist in the distance and depicting a faint change in the light of the horizon where it is shown upon the far off sea. While under their feet, the grass was fresh. Beautiful shadows of branches flickered upon it and speckled it. This description, like Impressionism, uses the descriptive effect of light that makes a clear picture in the reader's head, which is also soft due to the piece which so obviously envelops the landscape. Note how Corot does the same thing in the landscape in the couple's house, painting in loose airy strokes that make the scene a little hazy, which creates a sense of peacefulness in the subtle movements of the scene. It is both a simple moment and a busy one, as the boater floats gently over the water and a person subtly sits in the shadow of a tree reading. The effect of the style is that it blends together this moment, showing how it is both simple while full and moving. While Corot's name is not as commonly associated with Impressionism as Monet or Degas, it is important to point out that Corot shifted to the Impressionist style around 1850, while the first official Impressionism show wasn't until 1874, only a year before Corot's death, making Corot one of the frontrunners of this movement. While the landscape in couples isn't one of Corot's more well-known works, it is a member of a collection of works done by Corot, which helped lead the Impressionist movement that is still prevalent today.